Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio for another guitar tutorial. Uh, this week we're going to be taking a look at a little technique uh, to help you get a, sort of a jazzy sort of feel to your melody lines. And this is all about playing parallel octaves. So in a melody line, rather than playing single notes, it could be playing two notes at the same time, an octave apart. So instead of playing just a simple melody line, you know, phrasing a little bit, um, you know, those parallel octaves, like I say, gives you a nice jazzy sort of sound. Let's talk a little bit about what you're doing with your fretting hand, because there's two approaches to this. Using the top three strings, then, let's uh, start off just with an A note. Now, there's an A here at the fifth fret on the first string, and there's an A at the second fret on the third string, and that's an octave lower. So that's the pair of notes that I want. If I want to be able to play this with one single downstroke, though, I need to do something about the uh, the second string in between. And the real trick here is all in the index finger of the fretting hand. You need to tilt it down enough that it sort of stops the second string from from vibrating freely, just mutes it. So when you strike it, it's very very dull, and very quiet, as quiet as you can get it. So the third string rings out. First string rings out. The second string in between is quite dead. You can just kind of hear hear it, but if you play with one strong downstroke, it's kind of lost between the, the two notes that you are fretting cleanly. Now personally, I like to play the, the lower note of the pair on one of the bass strings. Uh, just because the, the voice is different. For all we've got the same note that can occur in more than one place on the guitar, the string that you play it on uh, has a big influence on the way that it sounds. So this note here sounds a bit brighter and more trebly because it's on an unwound third string as opposed to this note. We just play it on a heavier gauge wound fourth string. So for that reason, I prefer to play uh, the pair of notes with the uh, with the lower note on the, the thicker string, just because there's a bit feel there's a bit more contrast in sound between the the lower note on the thick string and the higher note on the thinner string. Just personal preference. Also, I can do that because I'm more comfortable about using uh, separate fingers to pluck separate strings rather than being reliant on playing uh, to one single downstroke and being able to play that in just one one action. See here I'm going to be playing that A note at the 5th fret on the 1st string and I'm also going to be playing an A an octave lower but at the 7th fret on the 4th string. So I've got the 4th string to play, the 3rd and 2nd string to miss out and then the 1st string to play. Now I can do this just by using the pick on the lower string and say my ring finger on first string. Now that sort of works but if you're not a habitual hybrid picker where you're used to using your your pick and fingers or, or whatever um, you might find there's a tendency to put more emphasis on the lower note that you're hitting with the pick and not strike the higher note uh, strongly enough with your with your finger. What I prefer to do is to kind of tuck my pick out of the way between my index and middle fingers and then leave my thumb and first finger free. This might seem like a bit of a, a weird approach but with a bit of practice I can you should be able to find you can you can move the pick out of the way almost automatically almost without thinking. So much so in fact I'm going to find it quite difficult to show you the technique so like in slow motion I just kind of do it. So what I'll do is slow the, the camera down and kind of give you this in slow motion so you can see the pick moving between a normal picking sort of position. And my index and middle finger and then And hold 
it back in the normal picking position. Like I say, it's something I've practiced and I can just do it almost without thinking and switch between the two. But with the pick out of the way, it leaves me free to play the fourth and first strings quite freely. This technique gives you a, like I say, jazzy sort of uh, feel. And you don't have to use this in a jazz context, you can use it if you want to have a slightly jazzier sound in like a blues context or something like that. I mean, it just so happens, past uh, week or so I've been listening to quite a bit of music and I've heard this used by a number of different guitarists and the majority of them haven't been um, jazz players, they've been like blues players or rock players wanting to put a jazz sort of spin on what they're playing. So, whatever your style of playing is, this is something that's worth uh, worth playing around with and, and seeing if it's something you want to incorporate into your uh, into your technique vocabulary because you could find it's quite useful for you. So there's something for you to go away and practice. Uh, thanks for watching. If you are subscribed, thank you very much for your subscription. If you're not, then please click on the subscribe button down there uh, so you see any new videos that I post on the Fatfish Guitar Studio channel on YouTube. I uh, hope you found that useful. As always, if you've got any other questions or suggestions for future videos, then send me a message through this link here, and uh, hopefully I can address any questions that you've got in future video tutorials. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.